Is there anybody here with us in this kitchen right now? The f okay, what's going on in here? Who's ah! Oh my god! A purse, a little purse. Edith. No, 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 there's no way, bro. There's no way I said Edith. That's the name of the girl who is haunted here, Edith. Looks like this is the uh, second floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, second floor. Oh, uh, what the f How the f did that just happen? Sometimes it gets a little bit more extreme. The homeowner's even been pushed down the stairs. The homeowner's been scratched, choked, and it, the list goes on. That smells funny. It does smell really funny. A demon here. That smelled nicer Bro, earlier. Bro, a <laughs> demon here. Oh. One night, the father, John, heard a loud scream coming from the children's room. He rushed to their aid, but as he arrived, he had a heart attack and died on the spot. Is there anybody in here? What the f oh. That sounded like a little girl! The question I get asked most is, Jazz, what's the scariest and most haunted location you've ever been to? The answer to that is very easy. It's a location that Ben and I like to call the Demon House. The reason we call it this is because of its dark and twisted history and the fact that to this day, there's still a dark and demonic presence lingering on in the home. Before we arrived to this house, the homeowner informed us of some of the things that she and others experience as well. It varies, but they experience things such as footsteps down the hallway, going up and down the stairs, voices coming from these little doors in the rooms, scratching and scraping on the walls, to sometimes even hearing screaming late in the night. Sometimes it gets a little bit more extreme. The homeowner's even been pushed down the stairs. The homeowner's been scratched, choked, and it, the list goes on. Ben and I came here knowing all of that in our minds. We were hoping that it was going to be a good night. Unfortunately, it ended up being probably the worst and scariest night of our entire lives. So get ready guys, because the information that I'm gonna share with you and the footage that we're gonna share with you today is some of the scariest shit that you'll ever see on YouTube. With that being said, smash that like button. I'm telling you right now, Ben and I are prepared to go back, but we will only go back and make a part two but it's in your hands. If this video reaches 20,000 likes, we're shooting very high. If it reaches 20,000 likes, we will go back and attempt this again. Because uh, after you see this video, you're probably gonna want us to go back anyway, so get ready. We're on the road to 500,000 subscribers as well, so if you guys can, press that red subscribe button, make it gray, and help us get to our goal of 500,000 subscribers, it would mean the absolute world to us. Thank you, thank you so much. And with all that being said, guys, good luck. Uh, you're going to need it. I'll be popping in throughout the video, share with you a little bit more information about everything. So, yeah, take a look. Okay, guys, we're officially locked in inside of this very terrifying old historical home. Aldous. 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 A L D O U S. I feel like we've gotten that before. I feel like we've gotten that. Um, maybe in the Devil's Forest a lot. Maybe. Hey, um, Aldous, pleasure to meet you. This is a very old home. This sounds like an older name. Fair. Uh, Brother Lady sounds like footsteps. Okay, okay, well, introduce ourselves. Spirits of this home, my name is Jazz Yasko, and I'm here with Ben. And uh, we're going to be spending the night here. We'd like to get to know you a little bit better on a more personal basis, if that's possible. Um, let's take a look around. It's a nice little room. Dude, there's a room. This is a very, like, from the outside, it looks like a massive Victorian-style home. That is, looks like a living room. Oh my, Ben, take a look at this. Wife. Wife. I wonder what that means. Aldous' wife. Looks like this is the uh, second floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, second floor. Oh, uh, what the f How the f did that just happen? Uh, How? Ben, hold on one second. Uh, wife? Be ben. Look what's right here. Is that what I think it is? 
Is that a widow's hat? Yeah. Oh my god. Wife. All this. Oh, hold on. We gotta go upstairs now. Okay. Um, first and foremost, is that like one of those like battery powered bears or some shit? Oh, you mean it's like talk if we touch it? There's what's a motion sensor light. Okay. Um, little thread. Did the bear just crack or was it like. Yeah, there's some. Oh, this is a weird bear. I almost feel like there's like a. Bro, look how long his arms are. It's a very unproportional bear. I'm starting to think like eyes are uneven. Um, like I, I don't want to sit, bro. Even the pupils are different sizes. Yeah. And the head is like, bro. I think this is like a. I don't say. I think there's a camera in here. Are we maybe not supposed to go up here? They they said we. No, the whole house. Who's upstairs? All this? Are you? Was that you who knocked this over? Where was this? Because I, I could barely see you have the flashlight. Archangel. 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 What does that mean? I mean, like, it's I like, know a regular angel, but... It's like the opposite. Bad? Yeah. Angel? Yeah. Okay. You stay right here, pal. All right, all this, we're coming upstairs. Bedroom over here. Ooh, it smells pretty in here. Like, oh yeah, it does. It's nice. Forget me not. What's up? Oh shit. It's a lot. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, can I knock? Yeah. There's... Okay, that happened as well. Um, guys, listen, tonight is going to be a very, very interesting night. And like I said, the history surrounding this place is just absolutely wild. So make sure to smash that like button. <laughs> just, just do it. Just do it. Oh my god. You already know what's gonna go down here later. Oh yeah. Now wait till I tell you guys the full story of this place because it's it's quite the there's another one of those cool looking hats. That one's cooler. Below. Below. Downstairs maybe. Oh bro, is that a picture of the family? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ben. Oh my god. Uncle and aunt. Okay. I don't know much about the uncle or aunt here. Wait, listen, listen. It's a very old house. There's a door right here. Um, this is a bathroom. Oh, wow. That's creaky and creepy as hell. All right, um, check out this room. Wow, this is a pretty big room. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Why is that a 421? Below. So below probably wants us to go downstairs. Is there any lights in these rooms, bro? Because uh, I tried caves. the... Caves. Okay. There's literally knocking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go check if that's the owner. In the meantime, here. Hold on. Oh, no, the owner said she'll call me. If anything, so I know it's not, they're not even here. Does this work? I got one. Okay, me too. Oh shit, look at this bro. What? So I didn't even tell you the full story of this place yet. I kind of told you the gist of it. I didn't get around to telling you the part where uh, the very haunted stuff that goes on here. Uh, one of the youngest girl, uh, it's like a crazy story, right? But, bro. Oh my God. Look at this. Do you think this belonged to the girl? This is like an old hat. Oh my God, I just feel sick. Okay. 
hat. It's like a makeshift beanie. Gloves, bro. Oh. A purse, a little purse. Edith. Edith. No, 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 there's no way, bro. There's no way I said Edith. There is no way I just said Edith, bro. That's the name of the girl. That's the name of the girl who is haunted here, Edith. What? Oh, Lord, Lord. Uh, what was that? Hey, Edith. Is Edith here with us tonight? Now, the thing is, Edith didn't pass here. And neither did any of the siblings in the family. They actually all moved away after they turned of age. It was the craziest, craziest story. The only person from the original family that passed here was the mother during birth to Edith. Concentrate. Okay. Um... We can concentrate. Edith. Edith, are you here with us tonight? Or were you just simply saying that's Edith in the photos? It's one creaky house. It is. I'm starting to even think like maybe we're just hearing things. But who knows at this point? Okay, maybe not. That sounded like a fucking bang. Okay, earlier said below. Maybe we should go check below. We should. Okay. Um, we gotta check this little cubby right there later as well. Like, yeah, that... isn't it kind of suspicious that it's just covered by a picture frame? Yeah, it is. So. That was a really loud creak. That was coming from upstairs. But the upstairs is nothing. Yeah. Right? Well. From what we know? From what we know. Oh my goodness, I hate this shit. Sure. That's the dad. John is the dad. My God. All right, guys, I'm popping in already because as you've seen, a lot of crazy things have happened already. I mean, doors are slamming in our faces, the damn teddy bears falling down the stairs. It's getting wild and it doesn't slow down. It just gets worse and worse. Now, here's the thing. I wanna share with you a little bit of the information about the family and then fast forward later on in the video, I will share a little bit more. First thing I want to tell you, because it's very, very important. The original family that once lived here, the mother and father both passed away. The children were then sent to adopting families, and every single family that adopted these children experienced some form of bad luck. Some ex more extreme than others. One had the mother falling down the stairs and dying. That's how tragic and bad the luck was. Since Ben and I left this house, we have been experiencing the worst luck ever. We filmed this video about two weeks ago, and about a week ago, I had a really bad fall. I could have died. I, if I landed two feet to the left or to the right, I could have landed on a rock, hit my head, and God knows what would have happened. Fortunately, I landed in probably the best place possible and in the best way possible. I landed on my damn thunder thighs, and fortunately, I only hurt my hip a lot and my wrist is pretty bad but it's not the end of the world it could have been but hey i was basically on top of this 10 foot tall mausoleum while i was on the top i wanted to take a couple of pictures of the mausoleum from the top of the bottom if that makes sense and i was getting really close i knew i was but i thought i was stable i'm not going to sit here and say i was pushed because i genuinely don't remember i could have easily just lost my footing and fell but i don't know was that a form of good luck bad luck like hey yeah I I fell, but I survived, right? I made it out, unfortunately. My bad luck, if you will, doesn't end there. A couple of uh, the files from this video have been corrupted. And if you look at my computer right here, I have numerous software programs open right now trying to recover this SD card. And I've spent close to $500 today just trying to recover these files. And I just think it's really weird. Is this the work of the spirits trying to compress these files, not show the world what's going on in this home? I, I don't know. Is that a little far-fetched? Probably. But I just think it's 
pretty crazy, right? A lot of little things have been happening as well. Little things around the house here and there. I have had a bunch of nosebleeds. I never get nosebleeds, but here they come, right? Now, could all this just be coincidence? Quite possibly, but yeah. I uh, just wanted to share that a little bit with you because it's pretty important later on in the video. Uh, yeah, take a look at the rest. Okay, that motion sensor light gets me every time. I don't mean to scare you. Okay, sounds good, John. Uh, or Aldous, or Edith. Or the spirit of the light. <laughs> or this damn titty bear. Oh, a uh, teddy bear, sorry. You can sit right here. Um, okay, so bedroom over here. Cool. Uh, so we got three bedrooms to choose from so far, All right? Oof. Wow, look at this room. Okay, is there anybody here with us? Any spirits? Okay, mm. let's go check this room over here. There's a lot of uh, ghouls or goblins. <laughs> ghouls or goblins. A lot of sections that we need to check. So, it's a nice kitchen. Are we friends? Are we friends? Yeah, I like to think that we are. Well, yeah, we could definitely be friends. How many spirits are here with us right now? We gotta get to know each other on a more name name basis, right? Do you have any questions? Um. Who have we been speaking with? I know we've been saying a lot of names, but are we just talking about people or? Is there anybody here with us in this kitchen right now? The fuck? Oh my God, my heart. Oh my, friends don't do that to each other. Friends, do not do that to each other. Whoa. It's a bathroom. Okay. What oh, scared me? For a second, it's just a green robe. Mary. The spirit box just said Mary, a.k.a. the mother of the house, a.k.a. when I was just standing here. What the fuck? It literally has just named off names of the family. I don't know the names of the two sons. If one of them is Aldous, bro. Oh, first and foremost, I'm not done with this room. Yeah, you can good. stop bobbling. Toilet. Check that room. There's just another storage closet. This is a room that leads to... Oh, that's where we just were. Okay. The front. So much going on right now. This house also... Feels like it was built by like a serial killer, bro. Why do you say that? Why it's would you say that? My favorite place. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second. I have reason to believe. Something is fucking with us. Like the now, way this house is built, it's like you could easily get lost. There's all these different doors and hidden doors. And like I said, this house feels like it was built by a serial killer, bro. Say that for 3 a.m. Okay, hold on. I'm so much is going on. My favorite place. Oh my! I can't believe what's going on right now. This feels so. Hey Jess. Hmm. Is that a cupboard, or does that? You know, Ben. That... I, was, I was gonna say something too. Uh, look at this. Oh, another secret door. Oh. 
Don't know a Carol. I know a Carol. Wow. Um. Oh my goodness, it is freezing cold in here. Oh, dude. We definitely need to do like a seance here later. Is there anybody here with us in this room? Notice how like a lot of the foundation of this house is like that kind of wood. Yeah. This is some crazy paranormal evidence right now. Also, the house is very shaky, too. So, like, that's the cupboard shaking just by walking, you know? So, some of the stuff we hear, we got to also keep that in mind. Shall I make noise? Shall I make noise? Sure. Sure, go ahead and make some noise, if you can. Um, Ben? Yeah. It's making noise. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, wow. The thing. The thing is... Ah, uh, I thought I shot that. But I probably did. I probably did. I probably just... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Jazz. That's yeah. not a closet, that's a hallway. Doris. Doris. Bro, we are getting so many names right now. Oh, it's like a little storage. There's another door right here. You know what, Ben? I'm starting to agree with you, bro. The amount of doors in this place. Yeah, it's just really... There's four, like, doors in there. Okay. I wonder what that little door leads to, but we'll have to figure that out later. We got a lot to figure out later. We got a lot to handle later. A lot to. I, I can't wait to tell you guys the story of this place because once I do, A, B, C, and D will be starting to fit together, and you guys are gonna be like, "Damn." Uh. What do? You... Who's in there? What's in there? I have an idea. You go left, I go right, we meet in the bedroom. Oh, okay. Alright, one, two, one, go. Go. Oh. Yes, I'm listening. Yes, I'm listening, it says. It says yes. Well, I came from the way you just went. Something, something is here, clearly, and it's strong. It is strong. The Lord's Prayer. Amen. Okay. Um. Let me take a quick second. Kind of and just. I feel like a weird feeling about this chair right here. Is there anybody sitting down here in this chair? Oh man, bro. Yeah. You know, a crazy star. We have only been doing these investigations for about four months now. We, we said to you guys that we want to take a different approach while doing these. We don't want to come in here with just guns blazing, uh, throwing a bunch of light lights everywhere. We kind of want to come out here and feel the spirits first. Uh, we do have some equipment with us we, we're going to use later. Um, I definitely want to try out the REM pot here. You know, because, but dude, the whole thing with the names. Oh. oh, no. The whole thing with the names is already, like, so accurate. Now, these other names it's saying that I'm not familiar with with the story, they could just be other people that have passed here as well. True, yeah. Now, I... 
I'm, I'm a little sad. And I'm f shit in my pants right now. What's that? I think we gotta go into the basement later, don't we? Fuck. I think we do, don't we? I'm only six. I'm only six. Okay. I'm a little sad I'm only six. What's wrong? Yeah. Could you... Oh, my God. Ah, oh, dude, I hate dealing with child spears because, like, the one thing you don't know is, like, if it is exactly a child spear or is it something pretending to be a child spirit? Yeah. That's, like, the thing you always have to worry about. We have so many rooms in this house that we got to investigate, too. So what I'm thinking is we're going to set up numerous cameras in places and kind of just, like, see if we capture anything with these cameras and stuff. Split up a couple times, you yeah. know? I'll go with one. Help me. Oh, it sounds like it's the kid. Okay, so maybe they need help to get to the other side. All right, we're going to be here all night. We're going to see if we can help you in any sort of way. Thank you for communicating with us. Okay. Things are starting to ramp up pretty quickly here. So let's go ahead and share with you guys the story of this place, and then uh, we're going to get splitting up and investigating and all the sorts. So see you guys in a second. They're just the heat, right? Yeah. I okay, think that's thank heat. God. <sighs> the spear box tonight was as accurate as it probably could have been. It's been accurate before, but my God, tonight was pinpoint. The things that it was saying was just I couldn't believe it. To say the names of three of the family members, like in close succession, and that accurately is beyond me. I could not believe it. It could have also said names of the other two members. I don't know. All this, it could have been. Doris, Carol, I don't know. I genuinely don't know the names of the other family members. I was just sharing with you guys what we were told by the homeowners. However, saying that and all the other things later on in the video is, is just, I can't believe it. This place is something else. All right, guys, and Ben, actually, since you don't know the full story of the place either. Here we go. Um, I have the story loaded up here from the owner, and it's, it's intense. And already, we've gotten... The, every single name that the owners mentioned to me in this prompt right here, the spear box is mentioned already. Great. Now, I think that's insane. Yeah. But here we go. The old Victorian house on the edge of town had always been a mystery to the locals. Its dark and foreboding exterior had frightened many away over the years. But when this family moved in, no one could have predicted the horrors that awaited them. They were a family of five with three children ranging in age from 7 to 16. They had been searching for a new home for months when they stumbled upon this old Victorian house. Despite its dilapidated state, they were drawn to its charm. Shortly after moving in, the children began reporting strange activity happening around the home. They claimed to hear whispers in the night, see shadows moving across the walls, feeling a cold breeze even on the warmest of summer nights. But their parents paid them no mind at all assuming they were just fooling around. The wife, Mary, was pregnant and gave birth to a little girl, Edith, inside of the house. Tragedy struck when Mary passed away during labor, leaving the child and her family heartbroken. From that moment on, the strange occurrences in the house seemed to intensify. The older siblings reported that most of the strange activity would happen around their new sister or in her room. They heard the sounds of rocking chairs moving, doors creaking, footsteps in the hallway, Almost exactly what we're experiencing yeah. altogether. Uh, the family started to feel as if they were not alone in the house, but they tried to ignore it, hoping it was just their imagination. One night, the father, John, heard a loud scream coming from the children's room. He rushed to their aid, but as he arrived, he had a heart attack and died on the spot. Oh my God. No one knows what he's seen. No one knows if what he's seen was what gave him the heart attack if he got scared so much that he just passed away. Right. But whatever John saw, I don't know, maybe it was like an underlying health condition. Right, But yeah. from what the owner knows is 
He just had a heart attack and died on the spot. Maybe that was just the heat turning off. That might have been just the heat, yeah. Okay. Okay. The children were left to fend for themselves, and their lives were never the same again. Over the years, the children were moved from one family to another in their orphanage that they were in, but they always seemed to be followed by some sort of curse. Several adopting families returned them to the orphanage due to strange occurrences happening to them, horrible luck, and even one adopting mother fell down the stairs and died, adding to the growing list of tragedies. When the children turned old enough, they all moved away. Okay, what the f***? That's coming from upstairs. Yeah, I want me... I'm going to go check. Are you sure? Yeah. Finish up. Um... Bro, that's footsteps. Like, that's literally floors creaking, footsteps. Let me go grab my flashlight, and then I'm going to go up. Okay, bro. Be safe, all right? Just yeah. Holler if you need Ow. anything. Yeah. I will. Whew. When the children turned old enough, they moved away and were never heard from again. But the old Victorian house on the edge of town still stands to this day. And they now said that whatever energy was following the children remains and resides in this house. It seems angrier and more vicious than ever before. And those who dare to enter its doors do so at their own peril. And Ben and I were called to investigate and see if we could possibly get in contact with any spirit involved. But at this point, it seems like we're getting involved, getting in communication with every spirit that was part of this family, right? We're getting every name on the board. We're getting all sorts of things. Um, I'm pretty blown away so far. This is a very dark and twisted story. Hope Ben's doing okay. But it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think about this. This whole family, they moved into this house. So what I'm assuming, I'm gonna make this hypothesis, is that this family moved into this house not knowing what was going on. Obviously they- What? Oh. What happened? Door just fucking slammed. Oh. My god. Door just slammed? Upstairs, which one? Uh. Go up the stairs. It's the room on the right. The one we were in with the pictures. Yeah. Listen, listen. The floor's literally creaking right now. It's literally as if someone's stepping on the floor or ceiling above us. I was just, I was just in that room too. I checked the room and then I, we're, I walked out. We're about to go back upstairs. I just want to reiterate this. It almost seems like the family moved into some sort of dark energy. This dark energy started consuming this family. Now, I don't know if all the tragedies that occurred, I mean, maybe the heart attack... But, you know, even the death during labor, I don't know if all of this was connected and deemed due to the spirit. We don't know. But all we know is that this spirit was eating, consuming this family's energy. And once the family moved out, it followed them. And once the family all passed away, everyone from that family is now gone. It almost seems like that energy, that dark source, whatever it was, is now back here because this is what it knows best. This is where it was once, but now it's angrier, it's more vicious, it's stronger, and it's doing shit like that. Yeah. So. You good? I lost my hat, but yeah. You lost your hat? Well, now we have to go upstairs. No. What's, a, what's a man without his hat? You guys have seen the Indiana Jones movies, you know. You kind of do look like, no, you look like Sherlock Holmes today. I was the, trying to go for a Sherlock. Ghost Sherlock, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm in shock right now. Like, I don't know what to say. Yeah, we should probably go upstairs. We always oh. try to, like, dim the mood with I, I couldn't. I stuff, couldn't there, but... though. I, I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of in shock right now. Okay, let's we'll take a minute, and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, let's just get my hat. Okay, let's go do it. Okay, guys. <laughs> You might be wondering what the hell's going on here. 
um, I'm about to have a tea date with the spirits. I know how that sounds, trust me, I know. But Ben and I are gonna be splitting up for a little bit. He actually went upstairs to one, get his hat, and two, he took the night vision camera upstairs, investigate as well. And I wanted to do something a little different, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set up a little tea party kind of thing, right? So a couple things I'm gonna be using. I got my REM pod right here, let me turn this on. So the next part you're going to watch is easily the craziest paranormal evidence I have ever captured in my entire life, hands down, or hand down at the moment. Oh, that was so bad, I'm sorry. Um, so I've been doing YouTube for over five years now. And in those five years, I've never experienced anything like this. I've spoke to my YouTube friends and some of them that actually do paranormal content as well. And none of them have experienced something like this before. Now, we do have something in common. We've all had SD cards corrupt. We've all had files corrupt, but never something like this. I have a file corrupted, but only the middle of the file. The beginning and end are completely fine. They work with no problem. I want to show you guys what we're dealing with right now. And I also want to give a big shout out to Ben, by the way. Uh, ben is going to be the one editing this video because, um, yeah. But um, yeah, everybody give a big hashtag thank you, Ben, down in the comment section below. Because if it wasn't for him, this video would be delayed even further. So yeah, uh, let me just pull you guys over here and show you what's going on. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, sorry for the weird angle. Uh, we have got to do this because the camera's on my lap at the moment because uh, my arm. So the last thing you probably watched was me and Ben explaining the history of the place. We heard something upstairs. Ben went to go check it out, right? Next up is here. So you just probably saw me explain what's going on. And essentially, it, I had a tea party here. Now, I set up the REM pod in the middle of the table, and I wish you guys were able to see this because the REM pod activity was crazy. So all these chairs right here, Oh my goodness, I had a light pointing in each direction of the chair and I was asking the spirits if they could sit down and then I would face the direction of the chair and I would literally ask questions and it would be pointing in the direction of whatever was going on. Like if there was a spirit in this chair, the light in this direction would go off as, as if it was answering my questions and it was so incredibly accurate. Spirit box was saying things like uh, little girl here, stuff like that. It was, it was insane. I really wish you guys were able to see that. Unfortunately, this happens. Media offline for from the 36th minute to the 43rd minute. And it's crazy because that's about seven minutes of very vital information for this video that's just gone now. It's like this for the actual SD card as well. I've run so many uh, recovery software programs. I've spent over $500 just using different things like this to try and fix this. But unfortunately, it's not looking good. So probably I'm just going to have this here and then the ending because honestly, this is the craziest thing I've ever captured in my life. Just by my reaction right there, it tells a lot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think this is the work of a spirit or do you think this is something else? Honestly, just because I've been doing YouTube for five years now and I've never experienced something like this before... But the fact that this is the craziest thing I've ever captured on camera is kind of a really weird coincidence. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. But once again, big thank you to Ben for editing this video. And I'm just going to kind of relax. With that being said, though, get ready for the remainder of this video. Because uh, it only gets scarier from here. Good luck. Okay. What's going on in here? Who's oh, shit! Oh, my God! The uh hell? -oh. Okay, guys, we're splitting up, even though I'm hearing sounds behind me. Oh, there's my hat. Hold on, guys. We gotta reunite my hat to my hat. Hello? Oh, 
Hello? Anyway, so we're just gonna take a look, see what we can find. No fucking way. Nope. All right, we're gonna continue. Are there any spirits in here? If you are here, just, you know, make a sound or maybe like, I don't, I don't know. I wish I had the Spirit Talker app right now, honestly, bro. Oh! Jazz? Is that you? Hello? I'm gonna check over here. I don't know, like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lot of activity in this room. But here we go. Doors a Doors locked. Are you kidding? You're opening it up for me earlier. I guess we're going back this way. So you've shown yourself to me. Clearly, you are powerful. Maybe could you move that chair over there for me? Or... Turn on the light. The fuck? Hello? <sighs> oh. 
let's throw up. Okay. Okay. Guys, I am sorry. It is so hard to do anything when it's actually pitch black and you're just looking through this little screen. Now oh, the door is open. Jazz? Ben! Holy fuck! Bro! Holy fuck! <laughs> why are you laughing? I can't believe what the fuck I just experienced. That's why I'm laughing. Because I feel like I'm going insane. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah, it was uh, pretty crazy up here. The doors won't stop fucking slamming. Yeah, tell this me one, I, I, I swear to God, it opened twice. Like, it opened, I shut it. It opened again. I shut it. I decided later, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to be brave. I'll go in there and check it out. Yeah. It, it, like, locked. There's no way it's open. No, yeah, no, it was, like, locked. I have it on camera. Like, locked. I couldn't get in. I walked back came back out and then all of a sudden it was open again this this place is something else bro this place is some insane shit yeah there's more than one spear here there's 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 a lot of uh, i feel like the teddy bear is looking at you and i'm just like thank you <sighs> what was that Bro, I'm telling you, when you see the shit that I just experienced down there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, what, what, what happened with you? I went to the tea room, and I was like, what can I do in here? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a tea party. So I went and boiled myself some tea and everything. <laughs> Legit, like, I was like, I'm going to do something different. Fair and enough. I poured some tea into the cups and everything, bro. And it was just crazy. I had the REM pod set up in four different, like, in, in the center. And essentially every light that went off would interpret the direction of a chair. Okay. And green would interpret like a yes or no kind of thing. Okay. And it was crazy because it was so pinpoint. Spearbox said, there's a little girl around you. And I was like, okay. Enid that was weird. We was had the those, name. Like that seemed like a little girl we were talking to earlier. Yeah. And then the door behind me opened. The fucking door like unhinged from like. What? It was like a fucking growl. What the fuck was that? A lion growl. Um, literally the thing unhashed the door. I went to check. I was like, I thought it was you. I was like, Ben, hello. Nothing there. And then I, when I closed it, I turned around. Every chair at the table just went foom. Every, it was every ins- chair. Every just single fucking... chair. The, oh, my every God. Ch- except the one I was sitting in. It seems like whatever spirit was sitting in each chair kind of just like got up. Holy it was shit. insane, bro. Insane. There's so many mirrors in this house as well. There's one right there, one right there. We have this face mirror. I wonder why. Oh my God. I hate doing, oh my goodness, look at that TV. I know. It's a classic. Looking into this mirror through the mirror behind me. I don't even know what time it is. That says 10.20, this says 9.20. But there, there's a slight problem here. What? We're going to have to go to sleep soon. Yes, we are. And three bedrooms. None of them have beds in the same room. So we're going to be sleeping in separate rooms tonight. Okay. One. Two. Um, if the doors and shit's closing from all over, bro, we're going to have a hard time sleeping tonight. I know. we be waking up. So I guess the thing here is to just decide where we're going to sleep. And then go from there. But first, what we need to do is like we need to sit down and create some boundaries between ourselves and the spirits. Because there's clearly, they think that they have all this free roam and crazy power over us to do all this and do that. Yeah. So, well, thank you for communicating. There's another mirror in there, by the way. Right behind the door. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We got to talk some things over quick. 
Um, see you soon. Before you ask what we're wearing, the free robes. I'm not gonna turn down a free robe. I, I've. You know how many Honda videos we've done and no one's offered us a robe? Never. Never. Ever. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity. Absolutely. I'm gonna wear this robe. Uh, I'm gonna go sleep upstairs. Ben's gonna sleep downstairs. Uh, which, in hindsight, is the worst possible idea. But we don't have options. We really don't have options. So, good night, bro. Good night. Not really that much else I can say. If you need me, holler. I'll scream. All right, sounds good. All right, guys. Um, this is my setup for the night. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This bed, 10 out of 10. I am so comfortable right now. You guys have no clue. Um, but yeah, apart from that, very crazy place. I might have to come back here sometime in the future. Let me know if you guys want us to come back. Uh, comment hashtag part two. And if we get 350 hashtag part twos in the comments, we will come back for part two. It won't be for a while, but we will come back. You have my word. Uh, because, yo, I'm like me and Ben sat down for a little bit and we were just talking. And I was like, bro, I'm tripping balls about what happened to me in that damn room over there. I haven't rewatched the footage yet, but like I saw that shit real time golly that scared the living hell out of me but all's well that ends well i suppose ben good night bro yeah. good night bro all right i love you too <laughs> i didn't say that but <laughs> okay i love you too <laughs> um all right i got to try to get some sleep this house is very noisy and uh the spirits are very angry as well so um i guess there's that good night ladies and gentlemen i'll see you on the flip side What the fuck? Does this not work or something? Holy shit. Wanna unplug that. <sighs> My fucking God, bro. Gonna hope that doesn't happen again. So fucking noisy. <sighs> I just heard a footsteps in the hallway. Ben, is that you? What the fuck? Oh, you gotta be kidding, right? Eh? 
the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Did something just knock on the door? The window? Sorry, I'm like 90% asleep right now. The fuck was that? Hold on. Hello? Ben? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going back to sleep. Jesus Christ, bro. What the f is going on? What the f is going on? Um, there's literally scratching coming from behind this cabinet. There's a door back there. Oh my god, hold the front. Okay. Oh my god. Am I about to do this? Time is it? I gotta go get Ben. I gotta get Ben. I gotta get Ben. 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 Bro. What? Some weird shit going on in this house. What's going on? A lot. Bro, I'm hearing like some crazy shit upstairs. You okay? Mm. You heard that? I heard that. Oh my. Hold on. Fewer discretions advised. Yeah. Oh. We have to go with the ropes. Can we? Listen, we're gonna have to switch to that camera. There's some. Yeah, we can. Okay, hold on guys, we'll be right back. Okay, first and foremost, Ben, you said you were having problems in this door? Yeah. In this room? Yeah. That smells funny. It does smell really funny. A demon here. That smelled nicer earlier. Bro, a <laughs> demon here. Oh. Oh, that explains a lot. That would explain this weird smell as well. Yeah. Can you show yourself, demon? What the fuck? That wasn't me. That wasn't okay. me either. Like, 
maybe there's like some old photos or something else. I don't know. Tablecloths. That one. Okay, what the fuck was that? It's like a squeak. Yeah. No, that was like that wasn't like a like a new. Yeah, well, there it was again. Okay. Hello? Hello? It's coming from my fucking so I was sleeping and I heard like like I heard like scrub. What is that? Monk. It's coming from my fucking monk. It's just a bathroom. Now, if you look in my room, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a, a mess. I was starting. I was about to go and check because yeah, I was hearing the scratching sounds coming from there. Uh. So I was taking apart everything and then the door behind me just closed. So. Okay. Here. That's like, oh no, that's not moving. I'm reaching out. Okay, is, oh wait. Bro, look at the old like, oh wow. Floorboards. Oh, it's nailed, bro. Whatever's in here was attempted to be sealed in here. But why was I hearing like, it knocked back. It literally fucking knocked I back. I heard. Maybe you think like so, something that was sealed. Hit it again. I heard that shit, bro. Something's in here and it wants to. I'm reaching out. There's so it's trying to reach out to me. My There's only... a hole. Huh? You think you can see through that? Oh my goodness. I can. I put my pinky in there. You think it'll bite me? It might. <laughs> a little leprechaun in there or something? Oh my god, it's so cold in there. Water. Holy Hold on. shit, yeah. It's like the haunted glory hole, bro. Sorry. No, but you're right though. It's freezing. It's freezing. I maybe Oh! Whoa! What happened? What happened? It might have been like a bug. What did it Lag. 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 Okay. You don't happen to have a screwdriver on you, do you? No. I know, I stopped carrying one with me too. You have a dime? What kind of... What kind of a, huh? a, di a dime. Hold on. You can use a dime as a screwdriver. Oh wait, that's not a screw, it's a, that's a whole nail. Planning. Planning. What are you planning to do? Bro, I'm thinking whatever is in here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. I just used all three of my IQs. Wow. And I didn't have that many. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Charge. Oh yeah. my goodness. Hold on camera. Camera gets first dibs. Enjoy. Oh my god, look at the spider webs in there. Okay, it makes sense that I thought I felt something. Is that a table? What the a chair? Hell? There's a chair in there. It's like a little timeout corner maybe? Really little time out corner. Is there anybody in here? What the? Oh. That sounded like a little girl. I 
Absolutely not. Absolutely not, bro. The little, little chair in there. The fuck was that used for? Isn't it kind of suspicious how this is just like, oh, let's just Covering. cover this. This is some really old furniture. Everything in here is like older furniture. This might be like some of the original stuff. And was that like painted? Like, did you have to spin that and break it? Not break it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I had to push the this seal in. of the paint. Yeah, I guess so. So maybe they try to paint over it to try to like. <sighs> well, you can tell like just on the detailing of the walls. Wall like, look at this. Wall. This is yeah. tape, by the way. I oh my made God. that sound. I made that sound. That girl that was in there made that sound. Thank talking, you. We've been talking to like a girl. The whole it, night. I wonder if it's like that six-year-old. Enid. Here, can you hold this for a sec? But remember when I told you earlier, the one thing I fear is a demonic presence acting as a kid. kid. And the time. first thing I said when we came up here was a demon here. Yeah. That could have been another spirit like looking out for us. I wonder if that little girl was maybe the one who touched your finger. Could have been. Here. At this point, I'm hoping it was a spider. <laughs> yeah. Bro, this place is... The history here probably filled with so much. But you know what I just realized? What? There's another one of these. Remember, right behind that table over there? Oh, look. yeah. Yo, look at this cloth. Huh. Okay. Here. Um. Who is that? That's downstairs. Fuck. We were just down there. Yeah, we were. Remember how I told you they were like doing a really poor job? Like hiding everything? Yeah. Bro, you know how this mirror was on this table? Yeah. Like this. Oh. Huh. Like Sebastian. We what? had Sebastian last time. Oh, you're right, we did. Sebastian, you following us, pal? No worries if you are. We just wanna understand what's going on. Bro? What? You didn't hear that? It literally felt like something was just like standing right here. Like your face. What about my face? <laughs> Just kind of mean. Is that an insult? Uh. Okay. Um, I'm ready to broach, put everything back where it was, and get the hell out of this place. Like I'm, I'm leaning towards that right now. Cause you, you know. box earlier with the photos and shit like is that maybe the person the girl that we're hearing there might be some more stuff to this place that we don't even know about bro because we only know about the original family yeah we're not too familiar with the families that came forward remember they said anybody who came here faced some sort of Wyatt Wyatt You know what I'm thinking? Rock, paper, scissors to see who squeezes up there. Everything, brother. A man's word is his bomb. Oh my god, the amount of dust up here. I'm really here. I hear you. I hear you up there. That's why I'm trying to get up there. Oh, that's a panel. That's that moves. Oh, okay, so he very can easily. Easily, well, within a reason. I haven't seen any other way to the attic other than this. I think that's it. And we're hearing shit coming, from, bro. This wallpaper is like, look at this whole like house. I know. It's almost like, bro, like, 
Look at this. <laughs> they, I mean, they tried. They, yeah, A for effort. Not really. Right. Oh, the fuck just fell out. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Can you let me know what's up there? Can you clarify for me? Ben, I just thought of something. That locked door. Yeah. You haven't by any chance found the key to that door, have you? Mm, have you? I haven't. You used to be a lock pick back in high school, right? That's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but like, most likely the lock pick. So, hmm. another one? Yeah, it's another one where we, I was thinking earlier, but now my concern right now is, bro, I just thought of something. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot, Ben. This door is the door to the attic. That's the door to the attic. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Oh, my God. I just put two and two together. Dishonorable. Are you saying picking the lock is dishonorable? Depends who's asking. Yeah, this is like a new lock. That's a really weird smell coming from this door. No. Well, this room smelled good earlier. Sure. I swear to God, I just heard like something clink behind this door. Yeah. Who's in there? Usually the one thanking him around here. What? Yeah, you heard that, right? It was a three knock. Yep. Almost like from earlier when we knocked. From behind the door. Who's up there? I always I always check behind mirrors now. Mirrors freak me out. Ever since that last time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to put some things together right now. So, when we walked up here, we heard a demon here when we were standing just in this area, right? Mm -hmm. This door is the one that you said kept closing and yeah. opening. Almost like it was trying to draw you in. Yeah. And even you said that you walked away and it then opened again. Yeah. And then when you tried to open it later, it was locked? It was locked. So and it then seems, I left, came back, and was open. Seems that there's some sort of powerful Something's entity here. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get in. Understanding. Wait, Ben. There's one screw here and one screw here. If we just have a screwdriver, I'm telling you. Uh, the thing is, like the owners told us, the whole house is fair game. The entire house is fair game. I think a lock is another. Maybe right. When you're hearing shit like that coming from this door, bro, you start to question your sanity. You start to question. That's what we should do. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe we just don't ever consider going up there, ever. Okay. Unless we find a key. If we find a key, I'm game. That's like video game rules, bro. You find a key, you're on to the next level. Um, okay, so there's this one last section over here. What is this? That's a hat box. Oh, interesting that you know that. Yeah. Okay. One last door. One last door we check. That one had like a little timeout chair in it. We heard, definitely heard like a woman. Like, super glue? <laughs> Bro, yeah, they're trying to. Witchcraft. 
Maybe. Was witchcraft performed behind this door? And the whole night I kept hearing things above me, but I didn't think that there was an attic. Now everything's starting to make sense. That's in your room too. Yeah, it makes That's a lot of sense. They will harm you. They will harm you as I'm trying to open this witchcraft door. Yeah. No. I said for a second. Shit, I'm sorry. Can't see much, guys. Let me know if you see anything. There is a Tupperware thing in here, bro, and it's so dusty. I, I can't I can't see anything but the camera can so maybe like later we can see anything if you guys see anything let me know Here's that. Let me close this up bro look at all that oh my god it's nasty they will harm you okay They might harm me because I can't close the damn door. This place has so many like little hidden. Anna. Shit, it's not gonna look normal. Sorry, spirits. Sorry. Disturb the resting place, bro. Okay, you're, maybe you're right. Back you go. Okay. Composure, composure, composure. You don't want... You fucking hear that? I got dust in my eye right now, I can't even see shit. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, what is that? The light doesn't work in here. What is that? Who is that? What? I'm very lonely here. Somebody just fucking breathed in my face, bro. Did you hear that? No, no, I didn't. But it seems like it was in your. Look at my. Holy shit, bro. Are you good, bro? I'm great. That. Oh. Bro, it felt like I was like face to face with somebody and they just like, oh my God. Earlier, Spearbox said your face. Oh yeah. Oh, holy shit. What was that sound we heard before though? Fuck, clicking Bro, sound. Like, that's that coming from the from attic. Other the attic door. I'm telling yeah. you. <clears throat> I'm freaking out, bro. I'm freaking out. Shit and bricks. <sighs> Let's go upstairs. Impressive. Okay. Is that impressive to you? Oh, let me say that. Oh, Coach. Fucking fuck. Ah, oh, shit. shit! Oh, okay. Okay! Okay. And there's some shit from here. Sorry. I'm fr Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Deal? Yeah, let's go.
Listen, guys, I'm sorry that the video is ending like this. I, I just, we can't do this anymore at this location. We packed up our stuff. We left. Will we come back? That's up to you. If you guys want us to come back, I'm shooting high for this because truth be told, I don't really want to come back. But if this video gets 21,000 likes, I'm shooting very high. That is not going to happen. But if you somehow make that happen, we will come back to this damn house right here. It's in your hands. It's up to you. And probably we, honestly, we probably left some stuff inside. How fast we we're we'll packing up to get back the hell out of here. Anyway, to grab stuff. Yep. So. Uh, but still, that that doesn't change the goal. It's still in your hands. It's still in your hands. I could survive without something. However, I'm getting the hell out of here. So I'll see you guys. It's late. I want to go to sleep. I swear to God, I just seen some like a silhouette in that door, bro. I swear on everything. I'm out of here. I'm out of here.